Hello everyone, so today I have a hurdy-gurdy I've been working on for the past two days. It is fretless, or should I say tangentless, and right now I've got it backwards. It's got friction tuning pegs, and uh, of course those can be a real pain sometimes, but the advantage is, well, they're cheap. They're cheap to make. These are just made out of maple. Uh, the sides are actually made out of a drawer I received from Kristen's mother. And uh, these little bridges, adjustable bridges, I've used these in my past hurdy-gurdy on the bridge, these little adjustable saddles. In this case, they're directly on a soundboard rather than on an arch. Right here I have a crank, maple crank, uh, whatever wood this dowel is made of and I've got some nylon spacers right here. It looks bent in the image because let me just try and zoom in. If you notice this back is loose, it's temporary. I kinda messed up on it because my bandsaw broke. Uh, inside I have these two little uh, bushings or I don't know what you'd call them. They're not quite bearings and of course this wheel. If you notice there's like some kind of roughness on this edge it's because I was using this thing as a lathe to to finish the wheel off because before I was going so why there's a double notch on this one originally I was gonna have a double set of strings here It's the same reason why I've got that same double notch here and four tuning pegs instead of three but the issue is that right here the the string towards the direction of the rotation would steal cotton off the other string and they, the two would tie themselves up and of course you just make a loud squeal so I had to ditch that unfortunately this hole is a little bit uneven I was going out with the router and of course I didn't have a template but in here I was able to use my uh, edge guide router. Well first what I did is I just drilled a hole using a spade and then I worked it with the router and this hole turned out really nice. When the back is put on you could store your extra strings and your rosin and your cotton. See it's a lot, it's a lot like a slide guitar in a way but without a, instead of a slide you play with your fingers just like on an Urhu. And of course is it doesn't con ever contact the other side so you, your fingers are pretty much acting as the tangents. Well I hope you liked this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and definitely don't forget to hit that bell. Until next time thanks for watching.